Want some? No. Hi guys, Jenny with Jenny Squad here and Adia. And we're back today for another Dollar Tree haul. As always, thank you to my subscribers for your continued support. And thank you for those of you that just took time out of your day to come watch my video. That's all I have for today. Now, let's get into the haul. All right, guys. So, I have Adia, like you guys saw, and she's going to be helping me with the haul today. So, let's start with Adia, and she can try to explain to you what I bought from Dollar Tree. Uh, oh, these cute spider lights. I like these a lot. Yeah, those are actually for you. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was holding them upside down. They're like fairy lights, but they just have spiders on them. They're cute. Yeah, they're very cute. So these are actually just for her room, and they had these really cute, like, little spider ones. And then I got this. So this is a little toy from the toy section. This is for my nephew. He's turning four, but he's obsessed with, like, little cars and trucks. So I got him this, and I thought this was a very cool set because it had multiple different vehicles in it. It looks like on the back it has, like, different ones that you can choose, but I think he'll really love this, and they're very small and compact, and I think he'll think they're terrific. So I got those for him. Um, an elf brow pencil. Um, this is clear, so... Um, I think it's like a normal brow pencil, but it doesn't have color, so it just helps your brows like stay in place. Yeah, it's like a clear wax pencil, and I got this for Adia for school since she's starting high school, and I wanted to kind of get her stuff that she needs or wants to like prepare for that. So I got her this little brow pencil, which is nice that it's clear so that you don't have to actually put color in your eyebrows or anything if you don't want to, so that's nice. Uh, I also got... Maverick this which is my nephew this little um dinosaur toy and he loves putting like little things like this together this is just 18 pieces and it's a um triceratops the the name of it like lost I got lost uh it's a triceratops and it has even a little dinosaur drawing on the back so I thought this was really cute and I think he'll really love this too more lights it's like the same thing but with ghosts yep so these are the ghost fairy lights these are so adorable and these were my favorite so these are the little ghosts they're really cute um and i have not seen these ones or the spider ones actually until this year they could have had them last year and i just missed them but this is my first time seeing these so i thought those were adorable so i got those and then I got um, these cheddar uh, garlic biscuits. These, I hope, are like the red lobster kind. So I'm hoping that they are very similar. So I got these to try instead. These are very easy. All you do is add water. And this expires, I'm trying to see, June of 2023. And it says right here it's kind of hard to see because it's like stamped in but these are good until june of 2023 more lights <laughs> these ones are also the same thing but bats all right so we have bat lights here these are really cute too they're like purple and they have the little like warm well like fairy light in it but the bats are very cute too they look like this and these are also for Adia's room. She's decorating her room for Halloween. So I got her these as well. So she's going to have the bats and the spiders. And then I got <clears throat> these. I actually found this pair of tights, which is very cool. It was a $1.25 for Hanes textured tights. So a super good find. And these are very like stretchy and they feel very comfortable. I feel like she could wear these with shorts or a skirt. Um, I'm sure she will find some way to style these. Uh, so I got these for her and they are really nice. They feel nice. So we'll give those a try. Uh, lip scrub or no, not lip scrub, <laughs> lip scrubber. Um, I assume this is to exfoliate your lips and 
yeah that's yeah what it's for <laughs> yeah it's to exfoliate your lips and Adia's really into like skincare and like taking care of her lip care I guess you could say too um so she usually does like a lip scrub every night right it's every night yeah, usually my lips are very chapped <laughs> she feels like they're very chapped they don't look chapped but she feels like they are very chapped um so I did get her this to also help like with the lip scrub so it kind of like makes um the exfoliation process I guess a little better but I got her this as well and then I did get this sign i know adia says i have enough signs but i do like this one this one was just very minimalistic and i actually really loved it it's perfect to me it, everything about it is perfect it's chef's kiss and i don't see anything wrong with it at all so i love how it's just very minimal i love like just the regular pumpkin i love the colors and i think it looks like it's high end more like hobby lobby or michaels or something like that so i do really like this sign a pencil case um it's pretty straightforward it's just a plain black pencil case with like a net thing here but like the zipper goes to it it's not just like an elastic type thing yeah and um she usually uses these to put in her binder so it does have like the binder holes and she does use these all the time so i think she has an extra one that's black but I got her this as a backup or she can use this one if she prefers, but I did get her this for school and she just likes the plain black ones. So I got her that one. And let's see. Oh, this is the pumpkin pie sign that I was talking about in my last video. If you didn't catch that last video, I did link it below, but this is the one sign that I was missing from the haul and I said it would probably be in the next one, but this is the pumpkin pie sign. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this, but it has the whole recipe on it. It has all the, all the ingredients shown. It's just a very cute little sign and I just had to show it. So very, very cool find. Biscuit buttermilk biscuits. These are very good. They are very good. I got them for chicken and biscuits. Um, and again, it's just very easy because all you do is add water. So that's really nice. All right. And the next thing I got are these extra large puppy pads, uh, training pads. So my, our dogs are already trained. We have two of them, Graham and S'mores. Um, but we, um, or I, I guess, like to use these when I leave, if I go to the store or something for a little while. Sometimes I put these down on the floor just to make sure because they're not created or anything. I like to let them be able to roam free while I'm gone. So I do put these down just in case. Usually they never use them um, and they, I, I'm back in time, you know, to let them out and stuff like that. So it's fine. But just in case I do grab them from there and they're a good deal, three for a dollar twenty-five. So I get those. Wait, is it your turn or mine? I think it's your turn. Oh, okay. Um, unscented tea lights. Um, I don't know what you would really use these for, honestly. <laughs> okay, so there, there's 30 in a pack. They're unscented, which is nice because sometimes you just don't want a scented candle. You know, you just want like a regular one. So these are typically, um, you can use these for wax warmers that use the little tea light, like the uh, Dollar Tree actually has the wax warmers that you use these for. But this is a 30 pack of them, which is a great, great deal. So you can actually even light these if you wanted and just kind of set them around if that's your thing. Um, they have like tea light candle holders at Dollar Tree as well. So just being able to get 30 of them unscented is like a huge steal for $1.25. So I grabbed those. And then I also picked up some florals. So I'll show you the first little bunch that I got. Um, this one, if I can find, oh, actually, I guess they'll be kind of random, but these are um, some of the ones that I picked. So these are the maroon ones. These are like a mustardy yellow. They just are labeled as filler and fern. So I got those two um, and I think they're really pretty for fall. This is the same thing. Oh, same thing. So we got those and these are also the ferns. 
what's what, what's this one? Amaranthus. Amaranthus. So this is the amaranthus. I think this one looks pretty realistic. The leaves maybe, eh, not so much. They're kind of plasticky, but this part actually looks pretty realistic to me. So I think those are really nice. Yellow ferns. A more yellow ferns. Um, amaranthus. Amaranthus again. So these are really nice. These are more of a greenish color and these were more of a brown. So those kind of go together. Corn. This is this is in corn. <laughs> this is a foxtail. It's corn in disguise. It does look like corn in disguise, mm -hmm. but it is. It's a foxtail. So I got these to go together because I wanted like a larger kind of fall bouquet. I don't know if I'm going to style them this way or not. Um, I just wanted to get a bunch of like the same kind of color tones and maybe put some usually this sounds very odd, but I do put a flower arrangement in the bathroom and I do coordinate according to holiday and season. So I probably will put a few of those in there and then some in here and things like that. Very Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving vibes for sure. Uh, and then I did get these. So these were the ones that I talked about in the last haul and these are very, very good quality to me. I feel like I know it's a dollar 25, you get the one on the pick and it's a little bit like um, kind of falling apart a little, I guess, in some in some parts. But I feel like that makes it more rustic to me. So I actually don't mind like the little imperfections on it. Um, I think these are really good to use in like a bowl as a filler. You can pop these right off the like stick or you can stick them in a vase with something else. I will probably pop these off and kind of just use them as decor. But I think these are such a steal. Really good find for $1.25. If you tried to find these at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of those places, it would be much more. So these are a super steal at Dollar Tree right now. A super steal. Wow. A super steal. And is it my turn? No, your turn. Oh, okay. Um, oh, it's covered in stuff from the pumpkins, I think. Oh. Or from the flowers, I'm not sure. Um, total hydration chapstick. Um, it and it's like, tinted, right? Oh yeah, it is. Coral blush. That's the color. That's all I got. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a chapstick total hydration coral blush. And let's see how tinted it really is. Pretty tinted. Ooh, it smells like fruit punch. Doesn't oh, yeah. it? It yeah. smells like fruit punch and it's actually, this is what it looks like. It's a little shiny. It's like definitely got hydration. This is right up my alley. So I will definitely use this. This is what the tube looks like, but it also smells really good. So that's also a plus. Um, again, it's the coral blush color. If you like that color, it's just a very natural kind of deep red, I guess, but very light um, on your lips. So that's actually really nice. And then... Um, I also got this hydrating lip gloss with hyaluronic acid by B Color, and I opened it because I kind of wanted to see like what it looked like, uh, also the chapstick, um, but I wanted to see what this looks like on actually, I haven't had a chance to kind of see, so let's check it out. This is very pretty too, it's very light. Uh, it's like a lighter pink color. It's the one on top. So if you like more of a pink, like lighter pink like that, that's the one on top. And the one on the bottom is the chapstick. But I like that pink too. That's right up my alley. And that is the color that I wear in the spring and summer. So it's perfect for me. And it also has hyaluronic acid, which is cool. So I got that one. I think the color is called Garnet, right? Oh, it is. It's called Garnet. Yes. Thank you. Very, I forgot about that. Very garnet like. <laughs> Which is weird because garnet's a very deep red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More training pads. It's a four pack and it looks like these ones are smaller than the other ones. Yeah, the other ones were extra large. Oh look, these are lavender scented. Oh. I've never had the scented ones before. I didn't even know they were scented. Um, that's pretty cool. So these are lavender scented. I never even realized. And they are, these are the smaller ones and the other ones are extra large, but these ones, the smaller ones come in four. Nothing super exciting there. 
Um, and then I got some command hooks for uh, Adia's room, just in case we wanna decorate. She's definitely decorating for Halloween and Christmas, so I just thought these would be nice to have on hand in case she wants to put lights up or something like that. Halloween sprinkles. Um, I wanted to bake a lot of stuff for Halloween, so these will be good for that. Yeah, and typically they have like the, I forgot what it's called, Supreme Traditions or something at Dollar Tree, you know, the one where they all the spices are. But this one is different because this is by Bakersfield and it actually has Halloween colored sprinkles and usually you only find rainbow sprinkles at Dollar Tree. So this is an awesome find. They even had like, um, there was one called like frozen or something and it was like frozen colors and then they had a space one that was like different colors for space but I think that's so cool that we can get a variety of sprinkles now for a dollar 25 that's a steal to me so this will be very fun to use um for Halloween cupcakes when we make those and things like that oh let's see I also got these butterscotch candies these are old school right so anyone who probably back in the 90s and 80s you probably had these but these are so good I still like them I don't know why I just like the flavor of butterscotch but I think these are so good and then these are so the dates are weird um I don't know what that means like why there's two dates on them if anyone does please let me know it looks like they should be good till February of 2024 but there's two date stamps so I'm not 100% sure more lights they're mini lights and they're purple <laughs> they are so these are for halloween i figured adia could use them or i could use them out here if she doesn't need them she did buy some already for her room so um i did get these it says steady burning or flashing and it's five feet long so i think that's a good deal just if you want to put like a little something around you know like a shelf or something like that these are nice for halloween if you're into halloween um media loves halloween so i also got these little uh cards but look how adorable these plants are those are so cute and the leaves are actually like a little bit foiled which is like very nice that's a nice like quality to these little cards there's six of them they are blank inside but that's the nice thing you can kind of put whatever you want you know in these cards but how adorable is that I love a good house plant. So those are really cute. Food dye. Red, blue, green, and yellow. And it, it doubles as egg dye too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I my thing with food coloring is whenever I need it, I don't have it. So I think, I don't know if it was with Adia, but I was looking for food coloring the one time to make something and all I had was red and yellow and I was so bummed because that's all I had. And I was trying to make like some sort of different colored frosting, I believe. It might have been when I was trying to make Christmas cookies or something, I don't know. But it's um, it's just good to have on hand if you ever use them. It actually also tells you on the back how to make these other colors. I never realized that, that's crazy so look at that mm -hmm. so that's really cool i didn't know that so um okay i mean it's good to find and for a dollar 25 why not um uh, i also found these disney playing cards now the reason i got these is because i really wanted to play cards with adia the one night but then i ended up going to the grocery store and i saw at the grocery store they had regular ones so i just grabbed those but these are also super fun if you ever want to use them and they're really cute they're they are very large but look at the images on them so the images are just are they upside down upside i'm down. sorry so the images like joker is goofy there's many they're just adorable like I, i'm probably not going to go through all of them but who is eeyore that? who is that tiger i don't know guys who's the tiger who's the tiger guys let's see who's this he looks is that from the familiar. jungle book yeah no, i've never seen the jungle book probably okay and then this is aristocats but i've never seen aristocats i haven't either but she looks like her name is like lucy or marie or something she does look like uh lucy or marie 
these are the back. These are also very cute. Um, but if you just want to play cards and you don't care about them being Jumbo or Disney, then why not, you know? So we got those. We can have those as like a backup. <laughs> firm tofu. I love firm tofu. She actually hates tofu. Yes, I do. I have the palate of a toddler. She does. It's true. Um, try making school lunches for this girl. It's it's impossible. I like Korean food, though, and toddlers don't usually eat Korean food. That's so. true. She ha does have an expansive Korean palate. Which consists of um, two different kinds of meat and white rice. That's true, too. <laughs> That's true, too. <laughs> Oh, uh, I love tofu. So this is definitely not for everyone. Not everyone loves tofu. I love it. I like it pan fried and I grew up with it. So it's just comforting to me to eat it. I guess it reminds me of home kind of. So um, I did find this, which is crazy because tofu is very expensive. So this is $1.25. This is actually good until... February 16th of 2023. So to be able to find this is awesome to me because I actually really love tofu. So there's that. This and then late, but I also eat seaweed. She does. Yes. The stuff that's the sushi's wrapped in, she she does eat that. Yeah, but I don't like sushi. Right. <laughs> um, I got another pack of these ghosts because I want to give one to my friend. So I got the same ones that I got because we tend to like the same exact things. So I just got her the same pack and that's what the ghosts look like. They're very cute. So I got her a pack of those. Foam mounting tape. It creates a 3D effect and it's pre-cut. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is actually very helpful if you're doing like projects or you just need something to stick on like I actually got this because um, I explained in the first video that I'm making those skull kind of ghosts and I wanted to use this instead of maybe trying to use glue so I'm going to try it with this foam mounting tape but you can use it for like a layered look on like poster board or like if she wanted to hang something in her room somewhere like on a board or something then she could so I just figured having it on hand would be a good thing um, I found the bubble candle. Now, Adia doesn't know about this, right? Like you've not, you weren't no. familiar with this. So this is the bubble candle. It's very trendy right now, very popular. Um, I think it was trendy like a while ago too. Like it started a while ago. It might not be as popular now, but it was a thing. You can get them at Dollar Tree for $1.25, which is wild. So um, I am not really into this kind of thing. I thought Adia might be, but it seems like she's not. No. Um, so that's okay. Uh, I could probably give it to someone who maybe would use it. Um, I don't know who yet. I have to think about that. Would her name like it? Maybe. My friend might like it. Um, but it is the trendy bubble candle in the cube, and they did have different colors just in case. If you did like these, they do have them. Not that I don't like them. I do. It just doesn't fit in with my decor. But they do have them there. Um, they have them in pink, yellow, and I believe this color. And if they had another color, I didn't see it. But I believe white possibly as well. But they are there just in case you guys like those. Are you sure this were popular? Yeah, they were. I think it's like a Mandela effect. <laughs> A pumpkin on a stick. <laughs> I love pumpkins on sticks. You do? Of course I do. Who doesn't? This is a sweater pumpkin. So oh. this is like really cute. I actually really like this style, like the fabric sweater looking uh, pumpkin. I think it's very chic. I think they're very cozy and cute. So I will probably pick this off of the stick and use it as decor. It shouldn't be that hard. I don't think they are hard to get off. This one's glued in pretty good. But if you just take like a scissors or something, you can get this out. But I'll probably just use it as like a little sweater pumpkin decor. I think it's really cute. 
And I also got the leather pumpkins. If you guys have been keeping up with like Dollar Tree hauls on anyone else's channels and things like that, these leather pumpkins are very popular this year and they're new for sure. I haven't found the big ones. These are just the clips, but I think these are super chic as well. These are a good bowl filler, I feel like, um, or tear tray. But I love how they have like the faux leather this year. That's like Dollar Tree is just you know? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? It means you didn't fire. Explain anything. You just went <laughs> a balloon. It's golden and it's a one. Um there should be another. Is there uh, another one that goes with it? Yeah, here it is. Are these uh, for me? They are. Fourteen. Yes, Adia is going to be 14 in a few weeks, actually. So um, she's going to be 14. That's crazy. And I did buy these ahead of time so I could kind of put them out for her because she's going to be 14. Where does the time go? Where does the time go? I don't know. I'm not sure. You were just a baby. I can't relate. One day. Um, I got these microfiber cloths. These are black and they come in a pack of three. I got these because Halloween's coming up and I wanted to put this in my bathroom. I like to keep one on the sink because in case there's any drips, um, I like to wipe it up and kind of keep the sink clean. So I got one for those. These are not good, I will say, for absorbing water for your hands and things like that. Um, they don't pick up water very well. So you wanna get the cotton ones at Dollar Tree if you ever do pick these up for like absorption. But these are good for wiping up little spills and for wiping like stainless steel and things like that. So that's why I picked these up and I like that they're in black because they will go with my theme in the bathroom for Halloween this year. Your theme for Halloween is black? No, but it's oh. a, one of the Halloween colors. <laughs> Mini notebooks. Um, these are for me, right? Yes. Um, I wanted notebooks to carry around in my pocket to like write homework and assignments in and stuff because I didn't want to carry around like a bulky planner or anything. Yeah. So these are just mini composition notebooks. They're super cute and they're actually a very perfect size for like sticking in your pocket. Um, Adi is not into carrying like bulky planners around so she just wants to make sure if she has to remember something she can write it down in one of these. I'm actually going to use try to use Notion to like organize my school stuff but like just so I don't forget it I'm gonna write it down in there. Oh okay that makes sense. Um, and it looks like there's 50 sheets in each note notepad and there's three in each pack so these are for her to use for school. What's the third one? Like what color is I don't it? know you want to try to open it? You can try to open them. I, I bet it's purple. You think so? Yeah. Um, I also, while she's opening those, got these leather pumpkins. So this is a different color. They're a lighter brown. And again, these are the clips, but you can put, uh, take these right off the clip too and use them as like filler. But just in case, here's the dark brown and here's like the other color. And I love these two colors together for Scissors. fall. Super pretty. So I got those. I'm going to keep going while she does that just so we can kind of see. Um, and then I got this screwdriver set, which is awesome because for some reason I lost my bits to my screwdriver and this one has all of them in there. And that's super convenient for a $1.25 that is perfect and it comes in this little like compartment thing, which is even better. So I can throw it in a drawer in case I ever need it and it's there for me. So there's been many times I've come across where I need to get those little like battery packs open, especially from Dollar Tree. So I'm glad I got one of those. It's like the same color as the other one. It's just slightly more green. Oh, let's see. Can you compare? Yeah. Oh yeah. So this one's like more blue. Okay. I see. And like a mint green kind of. Those are yeah. cute. I like those. So this is the three that it comes in. So this one and those two. Yeah. That's very cute. I like those. Nice. Those are perfect size. Yeah. All right, here you go, Pino. We got some bags. Oh, very nice, very cute. Rapunzel, Belle, Jasmine. And then on the back or front, I guess I don't really know. Oh, they're, they're different on the back. Yeah. Oh, didn't I didn't. There's Ariel, Tiana, and Mulan. I'm very well versed in Disney princesses. Let's see what's on the side. Oh, 
Oh, they go all the way around. Aurora's on the side. Who's on the side? Yeah. Pocahontas. Ooh, Cinderella. <laughs> that is the cutest bag ever. Oh my gosh. It's like all the princesses. <gasps> that is a good one. Okay. So that, I didn't even know that they were different. I thought it was just these three on them and that's it. And I had no clue that they would be on the side. That is so cute. I love that. And then here's the other bag. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. And that one looks kind of retro, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, 80s yeah it's got like an 80s feel which i love look at the card that's really funny and the side oh look at the side oh it says mickey and it has like movie theater stuff it on does it. it's so cute it reminds me of star court mall a little also when i looked up and did that thing just now i was impersonating the tag you were oh, what that was. I didn't yeah. even notice you were doing that. Oh. <laughs> Here, you want to show this bag, kiddo? Guess who that one's for? Um, Maverick. Yeah. <laughs> race cars. Yes. This is a very cool bag. It's race cars. It says, happy birthday. He loves cars. So I got this one. Let's see the side. Oh, the side is stars. That's interesting. It looks like Toy Story. Why do you think they pick stars? I don't know. I like stars. I do too, but... Look, um... My ring is a star. Let's see. <laughs> it's from of, Shan, it's not focusing, right? But yeah. And the back is a moon. It is? Yeah, I have it as a moon on my what? finger. No. It's really hard to see. It's not focusing. That is but. so cute. I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, so this has stars. I guess it goes with like the little banner in the back is stars. Oh, yeah. But I thought it would be like flames or something. So that's interesting. Um, but it's still a super cute bag, and it's a really good size. So I got that. And then the other one I got, which is super cool. Look, don't you think Liam would like this one? Say, that for Liam? Yeah. So this says, happy birthday. I'm going to save it for him on the side. And it kind of looks Minecrafty, but like... Yeah, that's a stretch. Right, but like, what doesn't this a little bit... I don't know. I first thought of, like, Zelda for some reason. Okay. Okay. I could see that. And then it has, like, the game controllers and everything, so I thought that was really cool. Let's oh. see what the side... Uh, I don't know about the side. What do you guys think? Eh. You know? They could have done something else, I feel like. Right? Uh, I don't know about that. Um, I would like this bag for my birthday. Oh, you would? I would. Oh, there you go. Yes. I didn't know that. I like video games. I was not expecting this, though. Like, that kind of is weird to me, right? Or do you guys like this? I don't know. Um, but I thought this was super cute. I think this is a really good bag, too. Really good size. Again, super cool that I found that. And then, Adia, you could do the last thing. Um, is this just, like, a decoration? Uh-huh. Like a stand-up Yes. Thing? It says, hello, fall, and it's a tractor with pumpkins. Yes, and it's very cute. I don't know why the pumpkins are on the front, but... Um, you know, we don't, whatever, we don't judge. Talk about that. <laughs> this is super cute though. This is a very cute little piece of decor and it stands on its own. I can't really show you like on my hand, but it does stand on its own and it is wood. It's a particle board, but I thought this was a super cute little like piece of decor and it's different. It's a tractor, which we don't really see at Dollar Tree too much. So I thought that was a really cute find. No tractors at Dollar Tree. What? No tractors at Dollar Tree. No. Now, yes. <laughs> now is a new era. True. Um, by the way, the pumpkins being on the front is actually a sleigh because the driver is driving with pumpkins obstructing his view, and he's <laughs> still doing an awesome job. So give some props to the driver. That is true. He is slaying the game. That is true. All right, guys. So that's all we have for today. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. This won't be the last time you see Adia, that's for sure. Um, we do have a Shein haul planning planned. Um, we're, well, that will be coming up. I can't speak. Here's a preview. This is from Shein. This is from Shein. Her jewelry was from Shein. Mm -hmm. Um, so she will be showing you what she got for back to school, which is super exciting. Yeah. And, um, we will be planning that video soon. So thank you so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to come watch us today. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.